Hello. So I was trying to find a good filter on Facebook. Instagram has all the good filters and they're owned by the same company. Like, give the program Facebook Live. So over on Instagram, I was actually doing a little bit on my story about this or that and both and and this feeling of there's a lot of people that are going to the mutually exclusive end of the spectrum of like it's this or that we need this not that we need this is good this and that's bad um and I really want I share I'll give you an example but I really want to allow people to I don't even know what's at the bottom of my video if you guys can see that there's like (laughs) some like ad or whatever anyways um My point is that we're in a position now where people are starting to separate more and more. There's a deeper sense of separation around um, like what we need and what we don't need. What is good? What is bad? And that's more separation is not what we need. We actually need to shift to being in a state of more inclusive, of more whole, of less separation and closing that gap, of really acknowledging that there, there is no separation. Um, so for instance, I saw a post that was like, we, need le- we don't need more successful people. We need more healers and, pra- and um, peacemakers and restorers and things like that. And on the surface, that sounds great. On the surface, that sounds motivational. It sounds clear that it's like, rah, rah, like, yes, that's what we need. I can get behind that. Like somebody else share it. And it's like being shared all over the place. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Since when are those two things mutually exclusive? What is it about successful people that we're judging and we're saying is bad or wrong and we don't need? And why do we believe that the peacemakers and the healers and the restorers and those types of people are not successful people? So my whole point that I was going through, hey, Allison, hi, Marlette was um, on my Instagram stories was like start to question the things that you are seeing and sharing and reading and start to question the separation that you are seeing and feeling arise. Um, I have a feeling there's going to be a lot more separation that comes apparent because times like this cause people to to shift into what is familiar and what is comfortable and the separation is currently what is familiar and comfortable and blame and stuff like that is going to going to start to really bubble more than it already is. It's an election year. Of course, that's what's going to happen in the States. Um, but start to question, what are you reading? And is that really true? Is that really needed? What's underneath that? What's what's re- What do I really feel about this? So what we don't need is like the people perpetuating this thing of like, we don't need more successful people. But what we do need are the people that are healers and peacemakers. What we actually need to start stepping into, hi Katie, is allowing ourselves to be both. What we need in the world are the people that are both and. We need the people that are willing to acknowledge and be all of themselves, to be full, to be whole, to be integrated. We need the people that are successful and they're healers and entrepreneurs. What this comes down to, right, if you start to dig under the surface, like this is what I teach and I'm a huge proponent of, of like starting with like, okay, here's what's here. Here's what I'm seeing. Here's what what's currently in this space and what like acceptance of this is what's here. And then you dive into it and you're like, what's true? What's not? What feels good? Where are there more questions to be asked to gather more information? And you get down to the cause of like, okay, what's what's supporting this? What's causing this? Where is this coming from? What's truly needed are people that are heart-centered and not just like lovey-feely, um, like Care Bear style, <laughs> showering, showering you with rainbows. Um, but what we needed are the heart, the people that are coming from heart, meaning that they acknowledge their own humanity and see their own humanity and their own um, creation and power and leadership. And they're willing to see that in other people as well. And what we need are the people that are both and they understand the the current situation and they're willing to continue to lead and rise and support all things and becoming better. We don't need the separation. We don't need things like defining. We need this and not that. We need to try this and do this and this is bad and this is good. We don't need the separation. We, we need to step into more wholeness. So on an individual level, where are you viewing yourself as separate from what's currently going on? As separate from um, 
separate from what you are experiencing versus what someone else is experiencing, separate from what you desire to experience, separate from the person that you truly desire to be in your life. Like go beyond this, the COVID-19 experience and when, when we all will uh, be quote unquote released from quarantine and from this stay at home pl- stuff and stay in place, like where are you still viewing yourself as separate from that version of yourself, from your highest and best, from your abundant self, from your successful self, from your healer self? Where are you viewing yourself as separate? And as as a whole and on like a community and society and global level of like the more that we can acknowledge that the wholeness and bring the integration into play and the full embodiment and have less separation about I'm different than you, you're different than me, the better off this world is going to be. Like that's what we're being asked to step into in a very big way is this is the wholeness and the integration and closing the gap of separation. That's what's going to bring us to a space of wholeness, of integration, of moving us forward, of being able to do more and and experience more and really get through this situation and find the solution the, the solutions and answers and healing that we need so that we now know how to function from this place. Hi Sarah. So if you see yourself re- like before you share something, before you start to get like behind it and feel good about it, like I say this about all motivational type posts and inspiration type posts that people share on social media. On the surface, it sounds great. On the surface, it's like, yeah, I totally get behind that and that makes sense. But if you start to question it, like this one about we don't, we don't need successful people, we, we don't need more successful people, we need more peacemakers, healers, restorers and stuff like that. It's like, on the surface, it's like, cool, yeah, that's what we need because we need these, we need healing right now. But then you start to question it and you're like, oh, that totally insinuates that like successful people are bad, successful people cause the problem, successful people are, um, you know, like, what does that mean, right? Like that's totally vague and totally unclear and taken out of context, right, type of situation. And the whole healer part is like, well, why can't, what does that say about healers and why are they less than and why haven't they been prominent before? And like, again, it's like diving into those things. Hey, Tammy, and really starting to question like what is there and what does that actually mean? And what is this really saying? And what is this truly standing for? And then getting to what do I truly believe and what do I decide to create in my own life and what do I, what feels good to me and what's aligned with me and allowing yourself to question the things to a point where you're actually getting clearer on who you are and gaining more understanding, which is going to increase your confidence, increase your ability to step into what you want, increase your ability to actually serve and help through all of this yourself as well as your family and other people in the communities. So Instead of making things mutually exclusive, where can you bring more wholeness? Instead of separating, where can you bring things together um, within yourself as well as what you're doing in your messaging or who you're talking to or the way you're serving others or supporting others in your community? Um, less separation is going to be what's going to help us the most. And that, that comes from taking a stand for the end, um, as Gina DeVee will, has said. But um, it's, it's really about being both and. Like I can acknowledge that that I am both and I'm going to choose what I feel is most aligned with myself, right? I am both like, let's go to the extreme of um, like really acknowledging that I am, I can't even think of an extreme example that feels good to share. It's really about acknowledging that we are, we are all things. We are all parts of ourselves. We are all the people in this world. We are all connected. We are one, but not just on a like the floaty spiritual hippie type of energy that like sometimes comes across as um, ungrounded, but really embodying that and understanding that like I am all things. I can be a bitch and I can be totally amazing and compassionate. Like there's a great example, right? Like I can be both ends of the spectrum. I am both of the ends of the spectrum. And the more I try to deny parts of myself or the more I I stand firmly and like, well, I'm never a bitch. I'm not a bitch. I'm never a bitch. I'm never that, right? I'm not that. That is bad. The more separation I'm, I'm giving to things, the more power I'm giving to a lot of the separation. And that's what's causing a lot of our disruptions and our issues and allowing yourself to really become whole and integrated and acknowledge like I am both and... I get to choose how I show up and how I embody that and what that looks like for me. So that's what's going to be most powerful for us. So I am both successful and practitioner and healer and peacemaker. Um, I am both of those and I choose what that looks like for me and how I choose how I utilize that. Um, And that's our free will. You have a choice. That's what your free will really is. So 
start to take a look at the things that you're ingesting and reading and the things that you're the motivational, inspirational things that seem good on the surface, but if you actually question them, they don't really have a leg to stand on. Um, and they're not actually supportive and inspirational. They're perpetuating, perpetuating limitations. They're perpetuating separate separation and separateness and allow yourself to like reframe it and get that to a place of wholeness, get that to a space of what's, what's both and for you. What does that look like? If you can acknowledge I am both of those things and I choose what, like that's going to allow us to really move forward in a much better way, in a much more truly inspirational, motivational, and constructive way. Um, so I hope this started to make sense. I did share it in a Instagram stories if you're following me over there. And it might have come out a tiny bit clearer there than it did here. Um, but it's different any time I talk about it. So yeah, I hope those questions help you. I, th- I hope they give you a different perspective and some insights. I think it's important. Um, like there's a lot of people in the athletic community and sports and stuff that are starting to realize that like, oh, I'm not just an athlete. I am I am more than that. Like there's a lot of us in that position of like, oh, I'm not just my job. Oh, I'm not just my career anymore. Oh, I'm not just the busy mom that's running around with a chicken, like a chicken with her head cut off. Like there is more to me than that. And there's more to life than that. And we've been in that space of this or that, this or that for a very long time. And we're coming to a space of learning how to be both and, um, and choosing for ourselves. So um, I hope that gives you some insights and perspective. Tuesday, I'm going to be doing a group clearing and um, meditation call. If you're interested in joining that, you're more than welcome to just send me a message and I'll get you the link. Uh, it's going to be Tuesday at noon um, Eastern time. And we're going to be doing some emotional clearing, balancing energy centers, clearing your nervous system to allow things to de-stress and calm down, give you greater understanding of yourself and what you're currently feeling and experiencing so you can actually get some traction so you can move forward um, and do a little bit of a meditation to really anchor in this concept of, be- of, of that I'm talking about, actually, of like the wholeness of being both and and having the security, stability and the certainty, even though the external world seems a little fucking crazy right now. Um, it's a definitely a weird, a different world right now. We're experiencing some very different things than we have in a long time than we have probably ever to an extreme, um, definitely more than we have before. And it's time for us to really make some changes and shifts. And when we can clear our system of trapped emotions, uh, of energetic blocks of things that are sitting in our system, causing us to have conditioned reactions, we can actually choose to respond and find a much better way to be and experience and create. So if you want to do that, come send me a message and I will get you the link. I think there's already 20 over 20 people that have, um, registered and signed up for it meaning they sent me a message and I sent them the link. <laughs> um, and yeah, so if the more you can bring yourself into wholeness and be both and the more power you're going to have, the more sanity you're going to have, the more, um, the better a depth of an experience you're going to have with this life. So um, you're welcome, Tammy. Thank you for being here, all of you. And be fierce about who you are and what you create for yourself and embrace what your truth really is in all of this. Let yourself find it. Let yourself heal it. Um, Heal it and see it. So I will talk to you soon. See ya.